Okay, I'm in a bit of a rush. It's currently half 12 or 12.37 or something to be exact. And I'm going out. My meeting a friend, Kate, at 1 p.m. Um, but basically, yeah, I need to like organize my stuff. There's still time to say hello for the video though. So yeah, hey guys, welcome back to another video. But yeah, I am rushing. I need to get ready. I need to change out these clothes. You'll recognize Kate from like way, way back in the series when I first went camping. I have not seen Kate in so long and she's in Byron Bay. So I'm seeing Kate, I'm so excited. But basically, yeah, I need to stop talking to you right now. I just need to like sort my stuff. And then when I'm ready, I can resume this conversation. Look at this, like I feel as if I can wear white clothes and not look whiter than the clothes because we have a tan. And when I don't make the mistake of putting the wrong sun cream on my face, we're all good. I actually need to top up sun cream and I'm running out so I need more. But yeah, yesterday I had this realization. I have like about two weeks left before I go home and it made me want to cry. It's gonna be so like, overwhelming to go home and see everyone again but at the same time like i just don't want to leave this place so it's about making the most of every single second of being here you know it's just a bit sad but anyway yeah um, i'm in byron bay still i really do like byron bay this morning i did a walk slash run slash hike thing up to the lighthouse in byron bay which is up so many steps and such a steep hill and it's in like cape byron national park but the views are incredible the water is so blue it's honestly just like something else i saw dolphins just before i was about to like start tracking down again and i didn't film on my gopro because it doesn't zoom but i filmed it on my phone so i'm gonna insert and show you but there were so many dolphins like it was honestly crazy. I was so far away and I tried to zoom in, so it's probably really blurry. But I was just watching these dolphins in awe, like, wow. Um, but yeah, I've got myself ready. Got my stuff. I'm gonna put this bag on. <laughs> Shove this on. My day bag, and then I've got my bum bag, and that should be everything, hopefully. Yeah, so I'm meeting Kate, as I said. And yeah, I think we're going to the tea tree lakes. I'm so excited. Tea tree is so good for your skin, your body, and I'm just like, yes, I need this. I feel like I'm talking so fast this morning. I'm not high on drugs. Time check. 54! Like, I'm meeting them at 1, so I have 6 minutes to go down the road. Oh my gosh, no. Whoa. We are missing my GoPro and all of its accessories. And we almost forgot the nicely washed cap. So bad. Okay, now we're leaving. Why does my face look so white and my arms look brown? This is not okay. Hmm. Let's try this. Anyway, we just got back now and thank goodness for leftovers. I made this in my last video. Oh, it's so good, leftovers. Mm. But yeah, I was out in the sun for probably a bit too long today. And I mean, sometimes, even though I kept applying sun cream, no amount of sun cream can stop the rays here sometimes i just feel it's so intense but it was nice to be at this lake anyway one of the best things about traveling is when you meet someone and then you obviously like go different ways or you travel to different places and then you're back coincidentally in the same place and you're like oh my gosh and yeah it was really spontaneous kate just messaged me in the morning like oh do you want to come and i was like yeah so you know taking advantage of all the opportunities i actually just walked into the hostel and just got this out the fridge and was like yes one of the weird things that I've kind of noticed, you can't really see in this light probably. When I'm in the sun, I normally get like freckles on my nose and like this bit of my face. But since I've been in Australia, I've gotten like freckles on this bit of my hands, like here and here. You see those like freckle things on my hands? They have never appeared before. This evening there's a market, the artisan, artisan market in Byron. So we're going to go to that. I think it's really small, but we'll just have a little mooch around and... 
meet up again this evening because Kate's in Byron for quite a long time. It was just so nice to see Kate. Like, Kate was my first vegan buddy. And you know, it's nice to catch up. Okay, so I just had a very quick shower, just like a freshen up and put these clothes on. I had so much sand on me from the lake, so I just needed to like freshen up a bit. I also had um, really bad news today. I had an email saying that my advanced paddy course was cancelled. So I'm not going to get my advanced paddy anymore and I'm so sad. I mentioned in my Q&A that I was looking into getting my advanced paddy and so I basically changed a few things around on my itinerary um, because I hadn't booked this before I came to Australia like everything else. So I basically extended my stay in Byron. It's a three day course and so I extended it just for doing my advanced paddy because I was like, I really, really want to do it. I honestly love diving so much. It's been canceled because they need a minimum of three people to do the course and I was the only person that signed up to do it here in Byron Bay. So the dive site is called Julian Rocks. I don't know whether to stay here in Byron Bay. Now and not really have anything planned, just like be in Byron Bay. Or do I go to Spot X and revert back to my original plan? I just don't know what to do right now. So I'm going to have to think this over over the next two days and come to a decision. But for now, I'm going to meet Kay again and we're going to go to the market. So I'm excited. I'm wearing my Nana and yellow shorts combo because I quite like this look. Um, that might be my hair's a bit white because I just put loads of sun cream on and feel like an oil slick but yeah it's Sunday actually today and there is a market in Byron Bay today that happens every first Sunday of the month I've realized there's so much being here I just love exploring a market because they have things that you don't see in the standard shops so my thoughts on Byron Bay overall it's bigger than I expected I expected the place to be a lot smaller the people that live here are so like lucky and special they have nature and the sea and like really cool shops all of the shops are kind of similar they have a similar vibe and this whole place has a very unique atmosphere you've got to kind of embrace that vibe and if you like it you really like it and if you don't it's not maybe for you but the whole atmosphere is just so chilled and calm easy going and people say that it's like a bubble like the byron bubble you can get trapped here because it's it's almost like a safety net like you can just be here with good people good places to go and see and eat you know and you can just kind of become trapped here and just not explore other places so it's like with this byron bubble i was talking to people about it yesterday i feel like i always look like the classic tourist with all my stuff that I carry around with me, but it's just because I want to carry my camera and I want to have two water bottles. So, you know, we have the bum bag. Oh, oh, oh God, we have the bum bag. And then we carry the classic Dora the Explorer rucksack. Oh, bit poofed. But you know, that's just me and I like to have Oh, it's open. I like to have everything with me, okay? This was actually my mom's bum bag. Well, this is my mom's bum bag. It's not mine. She was kind of reluctant to give it to me to come here, but I appreciate it. It's done so well. Like, I would not have survived without this bum bag. My wee is literally as yellow as these yellow shorts right now. I need all the hydrolyte I can get in my life. This lovely purple lilac concoction. I actually really don't like it. There was actually a really big market. So many vegan things like vegan energy balls and granola and yogurt and stuff to try. I was loving it. And then I found this like nice cream store and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally cannot walk past that place and not get anything. So I got an ice cream cone, but it was like an ice cream cone. Oh, I was so I also went to this surf shop to get some bum. This is a bit different to the one I had before. So my factor 71 had honey in it, but this one doesn't. So I think this one is vegan. Literally, if you've watched my videos here in Australia, you'll know that some bum is my favorite and I finally got it back. I got some stuff from the market, but again, like when I was in Brisbane, I can't really show you.
So I've run up that hill three times to the lighthouse now. I've done it twice in the morning and that was my first time doing it in the evening. It is a steep climb and yeah, basically I put my AirPods in and I listen to a movie soundtrack and the film soundtrack that I've been listening to at the moment is Pirates of the Caribbean. It literally gives me the pump and the drive to get up that hill. If I did not have that music, that intense Pirates of the Caribbean theme song and everything, I would not be able to make it. It's so good. Like I run faster with this like powerful music like instrumental cinematic film music it's so good i don't know if you run or whatever but if you do and you haven't tried this i've recently discovered it and it's so good i need to find some other good movie soundtracks but so far pirates of the caribbean is doing the perfect job i'm sweaty now and i need to get in the shower i also need to sort out this room because i'm checking out and moving rooms tomorrow and yeah my room is an illness tip like you can't look at that but this room is such tip okay I need to honestly sort it out. Oh my gosh, my clothes are still out from the other day. Oh. The clothes were nicely kind of hung on the side of this table, but I like mushed it around this morning. Mushed? What even is that word? It wasn't as dry as I'd hoped. And this has been out for a few days now. So yeah, I just moved it around. Hopefully this is now dry and I can put it in the packing cubes. Yeah, this room is just not okay right now. And look at that. Look at that. Makes such a difference and makes you feel so much less cluttered i will speak to you tomorrow morning okay we are still in byron bay but we're in a different room it's a dorm this time a four bed share i assume this is gonna be my bed but i'm not sure yet it also has a shower and a toilet yesterday evening i decided i was just gonna not resort back to my other plan i was just gonna stay here in Byron Bay. So we have basically like three extra days in Byron Bay. This morning I think I'm gonna go to the beach, I think. Make the most of having the beach literally about 10 minutes away. I mean, I haven't explored like the hinterland that much or like the rainforests and the national parks that are quite close and further inland. But I have done a lot in the town area and the stuff that's within walking distance, like the lighthouse, the beaches, markets. Don't get me wrong, it is such a nice place here. But I think that Australia has so much more to offer and there are so many incredible places here that you just need to go to. I'm not putting a downer on Byron Bay at all. It's stunning here and a really cool place, but don't get trapped here. So you probably can't hear me because there's like big waves in the sea, but I came to Main Beach just because there's like lifeguards here. Um, and yeah, I just went in the sea, hence why I'm like wet and salty. So this is the main beach and the waves are just like really big today. I was just like swallowed whole. Ow! Oh! The sand is like so hot. Um, it's like boiling, burning my feet. And I swear people in Australia, they just walk around without any shoes. And I'm like, how are you doing that? I just can't do that. I'm also sitting by this grass area here and somebody just told me to watch out for snakes. So I'm gonna like move on quite quickly. Yeah, also going in the sea makes my nose run so much. I don't know why. Oh my God, it's so hot. <laughs> the wind is so strong. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to hear, but we're at the pass. It's such a nice beach. That's where everyone surfs. The water is so nice. You really can't hear me right now. I don't know why I'm continuing to talk, but Kate is sunbathing. I just went for a swim. My eyes are red. A little bit pink. Need to apply a bit more sun cream, but it's so nice here, this beach. Probably the best beach I've been to in Australia, not gonna lie. We walked from Main Beach, which is over there, around to here. the funniest toilets I've ever been in. They play music and you have like 10 minutes in them and this guy speaks to you. We've had so much fun today. Kate, how did you like the pass? The pass is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, lots of jellyfish. Yeah, loads of jellyfish. Blue the blue bottles. Yeah, but there are see-through jellyfish as well mm -hmm. everywhere. But yeah, we walked back along the beach and probably burnt. Do you think we burnt? We 
we've, got, we've definitely got colour. Yeah, we changed colour on the walk. Um, but now we're basically looking for food. Yes. We don't know what we're gonna get. Oh, we're sushi. having a meh. Where? This way. Sushi. We might get sushi. Crossing, wait. Crossing roads in Byron Bay is um, not the easiest. Where are we going? Just walk out. Okay, where? Where? Sushi? Oh, oh yeah, that sushi place. The salad was half price. Oh. So, what did you get? The Thai tofu roll. Thai tofu roll. And I got this salad thing. Do you want to try? Mm-hmm. need to try mine as well. How much is it like? Seven dollars. This is seven dollars half price. How much was that? Seven dollars. I think yours was seven dollars. Okay. Eight. But what's this place called? Santos. Santos, Santos Organics. And we've literally just called the end of their food. Organic. Yeah. It is very rich. Even though Sun Bomb is like four hours water resistant apparently, I just don't think I reapplied it soon enough, hence why my cheeks have burnt. I knew they were burning. Oh. Oh, anyway, I'm back in the room and I was right. This one is my bed and I swear there is something new about hostels every time. So this one has curtains on your bed. You can like close. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oops, someone's dress. Yeah, so you can like close your curtains so you have like a bit of privacy at nighttime. But yeah, that was a fun day anyway with Kate. We made it to the pass and on the way back we walked along the beach and I think that's when my cheeks really hit the sun quite hard. We didn't expect to be there for that long so we didn't bring lunch. So we went to this place called Santos Organics which is literally just down the road from the hostel opposite the Woolies. The food is so good and because we were there late some things were reduced so I got the jackfruit salad because it was like half price. I don't normally have jackfruit that's why I was like oh I want to try this. And then Kate got this tofu thing. Kate also got this huge slice of chocolate cake which I tried some of. Well she couldn't finish it so I was the dustbin. Um, was very grateful I could try some of the chocolate cake. It was very good. But yeah, that place is really good. Santos Organics. I feel so sandy, even though I've washed and rinsed and everything, but my bag has sand on it and in it everywhere. This bum bag, I'm so sorry, mum. Um, but it like has sand stuck to it and I can't seriously like get it off. Oh, it's so frustrating. I feel so sandy right now. But you know, we had a good day anyway. You're being filmed. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be Everybody famous. say goodnight. Good night. Good night. The reception isn't even open. It's so early. There are some bird things. Look at these. Birds with the long like beak things. They're really funny. Okay, so it's probably really windy right now and I'm in a rain mac in the middle of the Australian summer. Like I'm cold. I am shook that I'm saying this. There was a huge storm yesterday and it might be raining again today, I don't know. So it's currently 10 to 7 and I got up an hour ago. But I'm really confused because I need to be at the dive centre by 7, so I'm gonna go there now. But my booking confirmation said I was only diving at 1pm, so I'm so confused. But I've gotten up early for this anyway because I am dedicated to diving. Um, but yeah, I am tired because I didn't get very much sleep to be fair. Um, was just up late talking to the girls in the hostel room, which was so nice. We were talking about anything and everything, but you know, I just had to force myself to wake up this morning. I think I'm filming. So my dive at 7am was a thing. Like, 
I'm so glad I actually got up and was like, it probably is on, even though I didn't get an email. But yeah, it was so good. It was probably the coldest dive I've done here and it's now freezing. Our water is literally stuck in my ear, but it was so good. So many like wobby gong sharks, stingray things. Um, what else did we see? All these like lionfish. The swell and the wind wasn't even that bad. I'm so glad I got to do it. Um, and I've got another dive at 1 p.m. as well. So going back to the hostel now and then I'll go back later. I need some like proper breakfast. I had some apple and peanut butter before I left, but I'm gonna have like a big bowl of oats because I'm cold. So I'm a brunette, okay, and my hairs have turned so blonde since I've been in Australia. They're also standing up right now, obviously, because I'm really cold, but yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. They're like so blonde now, it's crazy. Oh, it's like a UK day. It's so drizzly, like, oh, the weather just doesn't look good right now. My second dive was cancelled at 1pm, I'm so sad, but back with Kate. Kate! Hi. We're going to do yoga. At, oh, Byron Yoga Center, we're here. A $5 yoga class that happens like every day at 4 p.m. at this Byron Yoga Center. Hopefully it's gonna be good. I haven't done yoga in ages, but we're in yoga gear. Zooming in on your face. Are you tired? Kate's very tired. Oh. My battery is flashing, but I wanted to end this video. It's gone on for quite a few days, but I just wanted to show you like my highlights from Byron. I think this place is really cool and I definitely think it's worth visiting. It has something for everyone, I think. And yeah, it's just a very typical Australian place to visit with incredible beaches and yeah, I mean, what more could you want? My battery literally just died and I hadn't quite finished what I was gonna say, but yeah, I literally just wanted to try and do as much as possible in Byron Bay and I really do feel like I've ticked off so many bucket list things that I've wanted to do here. Thank you for watching this video, definitely like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to, as I always say, and I'll speak to you very soon in another video. I won't do the usual bye, I'll just uh, close the locker and lock you in. But you know what really happens if you're a vlogger, you open up again. But bye for now! <laughs> You have to like turn the camera off and everything.